Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and today we're going to talk about how to collect malware using MW Crawler on Tech Tip episode 18. Alright everyone, so before we get into this, I just wanted to quickly mention uh, something about an article I wrote last week. Um, so last week I wrote an article called Are You Feeling Lucky over at Tech Defense, uh, talking about some spam that I got and doing some analysis on that spam. Uh, what made this spam unique was that it was um, using the Google I'm Feeling Lucky functionality to redirect people to malicious sites. So in this case, it has, um, let's go down to here. So this place, or in this case, the link that they put in the email, the malicious link that they want people to click on was google.com search button I'm Feeling Lucky uh, for query Big Mac sandwich plus 40 year, 40 YR. Um, so, um, read the article if you want to find out a little bit more about what the malware and, or, or what the uh, attack is about. Um, but what I thought was funny and thought worth mentioning to you guys is since posting this article, um, on occasion I become the top search result for Big, Big Mac Sandwich plus 40 year old. So all these people that are clicking the link, um, the malicious link in the spam email that they're getting, are actually landing on my site and seeing this versus getting to the malicious site. So let's see what it actually looks like right now. Let's do Big Mac Sandwich and 40 Year. Oh, nope, not anymore. So you'll see I'm, I'm down here in this uh, uh, a few clicks down here and here, but occasionally I end up becoming the first uh, result, which sends all that traffic to me instead of to the malicious site, which is the fir currently the first one right here. So I thought that was worth mentioning. Uh, but now let's get back into what this uh, episode is about, and that is uh, collecting malware using a tool called MW Crawler. So um, a lot of you have been asking, hey, when are you going to get back to doing malware videos? Um, my first videos were malware videos, so I wanted to get back to the roots. Um, but before I do that, I want to you know, give you guys the tools you need to be able to follow along. So um, I was going to write a tool. Uh, I've had a lot of experience creating um, web scraping uh, utilities in Python recently, so I was going to write one that uh, you know, basically does what this script does. But actually, uh, you know, searching around on GitHub, I found somebody else had already done it and uh, had actually done a, a rather decent job with it, um, probably better than I would have done. So I figured it was worth showing you guys. So um, the tool is called MW Crawler, and it is created uh, by Ricardo Diaz. And uh, basically, it's a simple Python script that's going to go to all of these resources right here, find the links that include malware in them, which are all the links in here, and then uh, download them for you. What makes this really cool though is that it determines what type of file it is and sorts them for you. That way you don't have to, uh, you don't have to do that yourself. And it's also going to save them by hash, so if you happen to get a bunch of repeats, it's not going to keep downloading it. You already have the file. So you, you don't have to worry about that. So uh, pretty good tool, and like a you know, like I said, it uses these sources that are listed right here. And just to show you what these sources look like, um, and I believe I might have showed you guys this in some of the earlier malware videos. You know, doing this manually, going through here, let's see something that has a you know dot zip or a dot exe or maybe this JavaScript file here. Here, let's make this bigger. So, so maybe we'll grab that guy there and let's try doing some analysis on that. So you know, we were going through that manually. Here's another example, malware domain list. Um, so another place where you can go and get some malicious stuff. And another one here. right? So you got a few of them. And he has a few that actually I wasn't aware of before. Um, so they're all listed. And uh, yeah. So... To install this tool is, is really simple. In fact, uh, let me just delete it real quick so I can show you how to install it. So wget and it's wget 
this right here. So it's straight from the GitHub page. Go ahead and add an extra space in there. Okay. So now we have it in there right here. In fact, let's make this a little bit bigger as well. Much better. All right. So now we got MW crawler. Now we can run it right now by doing Python MW crawler. But if we want to be able to dot slash it like we normally do, we got to set it, uh, set the permissions appropriately. Change mod plus x NW crawler. And now you'll notice that it is green, letting us know that we can execute it. So now if I did dot slash NW crawler, it would work. Um, I should note that it does require beautiful soup 3.0.8 or greater. Uh, beautiful soup is a, uh, a Python uh, library. Um, it's a pretty popular one, so you probably might have it already. Not sure. But if you don't, just go ahead and download that. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you could even do just a, a straight app git install Python dash beautiful soup. Um, but let's get into the uses of, of the tool. There's really not a whole lot of options, right? You either run mwcrawler.python flat out like this, or you run um, run it with a tac t. The tac t is for thug. Um, for those of you who don't know what thug is, thug is a uh, little honey client aimed at mimicking web behavior um, to try to emulate and detect uh, malicious content. So um, if you have Thug installed and you want to send the results to Thug to have Thug check it out, by all means you can do so. Um, but I don't have Thug installed on this instance um, and I, I really uh, prefer to use some stronger things once I have the malware installed such as uh, you know Cuckoo and uh, the like. So, uh, But if you want to you know, get Thug, you can get it here on this GitHub page. So just to show you what it does when you run it. So you can see we didn't use TACT, so it knows that. And now it's going to go to each of these resources that we mentioned here. And it's going to grab the files that it sees. So you'll notice it determines the file type. It determines the hash. And then it saves it um, into folders based on this. And I'll show you where it saves it in a second. All right, so while this is running, it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll come back as soon as it's ready. All right, guys, well, we're back. Uh, the tool is run, um, and what I'm going to do is uh, go to where it downloads everything to. So if you go to CD, uh, you're going to change directory to slash opt slash malware. And you'll see that we have uh, one folder called unsorted, which is funny. We call it unsorted, but it's uh, pretty darn sorted. So here you can see um, yeah, how it sorts it out by the type of data it is, like if it can determine or not. It sorts it all out. And then if we go to one of these, let's say let's go to the RAR. Um, so CD RAR. You'll see we have a bunch of files. Um, let's just do it normal ls. We have a bunch of files named by hash, md5 hash specifically. So this should give you uh, a decent amount of uh, malware to you know get your beat wet with. Of course, um, don't launch any of it unless you you know understand what you're doing and you've watched a, a few of the other videos before. Um, but this will help prepare for some of the upcoming episodes where we'll talk a little bit how to, about um, you know, memory analysis, get into more of the advanced uh, static techniques and, and such. Um, additionally, I plan on showing you guys my Cuckoo instance and how that works. Um, so there's you know plenty more to come on the malware analysis side. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know. Like always, you can find more videos and security-related articles at techdefense.com. If you want to reach out to me, 
You can contact me at enormous at techdefense.com. Enormous is spelt 1-A-N-0-R-M-U-S. Of course, you can see other stuff I've done over at SecurityTube as well, and my YouTube channel is as such. Thanks again.